Hey everyone, this is 12 News Meteorologist Stephen Matrigrano with a quick look at your updated ski report for the uh, weekend coming up. Let's jump into it. Some clear skies for Friday afternoon, staying pretty much on the dry side all across New England. Maybe a passing flurry or snow shower. That's about it for Friday evening. And then a similar story for Saturday, by the way. A few passing snow showers. You can see here on the map we have Stowe, Killington, Mount Snow. Uh, again, passing snow showers, maybe, you know, a coating in spots. Uh, better chance of at least some light accumulations on Sunday. You'll see that in just a second. We're going to go forward here. Here we go on a Sunday. Some snow breaks out across upstate New York, the north country of Vermont. And you can see here even into northern New Hampshire and uh, into Maine. So some light accumulations. You know, I'm thinking generally one to three inches of snow across that area. Maybe a few spots in higher elevations get some higher uh, totals, maybe four, or maybe a five isolated amount, but that's really about it. Not a big storm, uh, just a little weak system kind of passing on through, bringing in a nice, nice little coating and, and a nice fresh coating of snow across the northern tier of Vermont and New Hampshire. And that kind of lingers into Sunday night as well. So again, uh, not a big storm, but certainly uh, periods of some snow showers moving through. Things dry out though for Monday, clear skies, great skiing weather all weekend long, by the way. Here's what we're looking at in terms of snowfall. Uh, notice across northern New England through Monday, again, generally one to three inches, maybe a few spots get up to four or five. You can actually see as you go into Saddleback up in Maine, and uh, you can see those areas of four or five inches around there. So again, higher elevations could see you know slightly higher amounts, but generally speaking, this is not a big storm. But hey, the way this winter has gone through December, we'll take any snow that we can get across the ski country. Uh, temperatures certainly cold enough. You know, we're looking at teens, single digits during the nighttime hours and overnight. And then, you know, rising a bit to the 20s and 30s during the daytime hours. But of course, you know, southern New England has been in that snow hole for pretty much the entire winter. Uh, just certainly not cold enough to handle snow. And we've been looking at, you know, plenty of rain across the area. Uh, but thankfully, at least, you know, much of New England has seen some snow as of late. So that's some good news. And Again, temperatures certainly supportive of, you know, the man-made snow and also snow that we get from Mother Nature. And uh, you can see it just stays cold all the way into Monday. Quick look at the wind chills. Again, going through this pretty quickly here. Again, you know, wear the proper gear as you're out on the mountains and out on the summits. And, uh, of course, it'll be colder at the summits. It'll feel a lot colder. It'll feel more like below zero or around zero. And, again, just, you know, looking at typical, you know, late January, early February type of weather coming our way. So... Um, nothing really too out of the ordinary in terms of the temperatures and the feels like temperatures. Uh, unless you're down in southern New England, that is the one caveat here uh, <laughs> that it is, you know, above average from where we should be. But other than that, things are looking uh, just fine in the ski country. So that's your latest ski report. Thanks for tuning in. Of course, right below this video on our website, we have a lot more individual links that you can visit for certain areas and uh, certain destinations that you may be heading to. So uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll have more updates to come throughout the weekend and into early next week with more looking ahead as our pattern continues to stay pretty active here in the Northeast. So thanks for tuning in and have a great weekend. Take care.